Scientists discovered ancient footprints in South Africa, revealing characteristics that might indicate the use of hard-soled sandals in the Middle Stone Age. The footprints, lacking toe impressions, suggest protective footwear against rugged terrain. Detailed analysis of the prints shows rounded fronts and crisp edges, hinting at structured shoes. Experiments with replica sandals, based on indigenous designs, mirrored the ancient markings closely. Coastal foraging, perilous with sharp rocks and sea urchins, may have necessitated such footwear for safety. Foot lacerations during the Middle Stone Age could have been fatal, making durable sandals potentially life-saving. Despite the lack of direct dating of the footprints, the surrounding sediment and rock layers offer clues to their age. Researchers are cautious in concluding footwear use in the distant past, due to the complexity of interpreting rock markings. Studies' findings could push back the known use of footwear by tens of thousands of years. Strap attachment points on the prints provide possible evidence of complex shoe construction. Sizes of the footprints correspond with those of juvenile or small adult harmonins from the era. Oldest surviving footwear found is a 10,000-year-old pair of woven bark shoes from Oregon. Footwear from the Middle Stone Age, if existed, would have decomposed long ago, leaving minimal physical evidence. Sandals could have been crucial for early humans living in harsh coastal environments. Study examined well-preserved footprints at three different locations along the Cape Coast. Footprints at Kleinkrantz are estimated to be between 79,000 and 148,000 years old. Similar footprints at Gaukama date back to between 73,000 and 136,000 years ago. A final set of prints was located at the Woody Cape in Addo Elephant National Park. Footprints show no toes but have rounded anterior ends, crisp margins, and possible evidence of strap attachment points. Dimensions of the footprints are consistent with those of Harmonin tracks from the period. Oldest previous evidence of footwear use was from Neanderthal children's prints in a cave in Greece. Other Neanderthal tracks in France have been interpreted as evidence of shod feet. Footwear indications from Israel and Armenia date back to roughly 5,500 years ago. Otzi the mummified Iceman also possessed sandals when he died over 5,000 years ago. Studies authors suggest a cautious interpretation of the evidence for shod harmonins. Experiments showed that hard-soled footwear on wet sand left prints with crisp edges and no toe prints. Indentations where the leather straps met the sole were observed in the ancient prints. Researchers replicated the footprints using sandals resembling those used by the indigenous San people. They interpret the three sites as suggesting the presence of shod harmonin trackmakers. Study adds a significant piece to the puzzle of human technological advancement during the Middle Stone Age. Presence of footwear could indicate a level of sophistication in early human culture. Analysis of ancient footprints provides a unique insight into the daily lives of early humans. Possibility of shoe use during the Middle Stone Age offers a new perspective on early human migration and habits. Findings highlight the importance of indirect evidence in the study of prehistoric technology. Study opens up new questions about the materials and methods used in early shoemaking. Use of sandals might have been widespread earlier than previously thought. Study exemplifies the interdisciplinary approach needed to understand ancient human behavior. Footprints at the three sites could represent some of the earliest evidence of human innovation. Study carefully avoids over-interpreting the evidence, despite the potential implications. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.